It's now time for a new segment here on the Splash Live. This monthly segment is where we are joined by West Bloomfield Parts Naturalists to talk about the amazing programs that they have up and running, as well as some of the fun things in nature that we can see right here in West Bloomfield. So we are joined by Annabelle Range. She is one of those West Bloomfield Parks Naturalists here to talk to us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Annabelle for having me here today. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. So let's start off first by explaining your role as a West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation Naturalist, how you get involved with West Bloomfield Parks and how long you've been with them um, here in the position here. Of course, yeah. So I've been here for almost two years at this point. I moved here from North Dakota um, to get back into the environmental education scene, get back to doing what I love. And there are three naturalists of us here. So my specific role is to work with private nature appointments. It's field trips, family groups, things of that sort. And then the other half of my job is to care for all the animals that we have that live here. So we have eight reptiles and amphibians, and that is a big part of my job is taking care of them and making sure they have everything they need to be happy and healthy. And Annabelle, one of those animals that you have here is the live animal ambassador. So it looks like you have the garter snake there in your hands. Can you tell us a little bit about the garter snake and maybe some facts and information that we should know about that garter snake? Yeah, absolutely. So starting off, what you'll notice is that this is not the normal coloring of a garter snake that you would see out here in Michigan. The garter snakes that we're used to have a darker body color that's brown to black, and they have yellow stripes going down them. Um, this little guy that I have here is albino. That just means that it is missing the pigment and the color that would normally a snake would normally have. Makes it a little bit different, would make it more difficult to survive in the wild because they can't blend in as well if they don't have those colors that they have in the wild. Now with it being cold here this month in January, um, reptiles, which this snake is, are cold blooded. They get their warmth from the environment. And with it being this cold, obviously they're not gonna be very active. So what garter snakes will do is they will gather underground in hundreds and thousands in crevices and caves. And that's where they will spend their winters together. So if you can imagine at the start of the fall, they all kind of move into these dark caves and gather together. And they'll do what's similar to hibernating for mammals. It's called brumation. And it's very similar because their heart rate slows down, metabolism slows down, but they're not exactly sleeping. They will be active throughout the winter. They just can't come up above ground because it's a little bit too cold. So that's what our garter snakes are doing right now during this time of year. And Annabelle, obviously your garter snake that you have there is pretty active, um, you know, hanging out in your hands there. Can you tell us a little bit about the Live Animal Ambassador program and what it the um, point of it is in the West Bloomfield Parks for the naturalists to kind of um, give some information and educate the West Bloomfield community about those animals that we have here. Of course, yeah, so you touched on a really big part of it, which is just educating the public. So the big um, bonus that of having animal ambassadors is that we can use them to educate the public. So a lot of what goes into their care is making sure they're comfortable around humans and socialized. So we spend a lot of time with our animals, which is why we can hold them. And they're this comfortable because they're very used to us in our presence because we want the public and the animal to feel comfortable when we're in that education setting. And it's a really great opportunity, not only to make that connection with the public, but also maybe work on some fears they may have too. So I'd say that the animal I have here is probably the one people fear the most out of all of our animal ambassadors. But once people really get to see the snake up close and get to know it, they realize all of the fun adaptations and perks that they have and that they're really not to be feared. It's just you have to be educated. And then Annabelle, as well as those live animal ambassadors, the West Bloomfield Parks also has some fun programming this winter, specifically that snowshoe program that I was talking about before. Can you give us a little bit of info on that? And if a West Bloomfield resident was looking to snowshoe um, in the trails during the parks, how would they get involved with that with those snowshoe rentals? Yeah, of course. So we have a few things going on with snowshoes in February. That's our big month for snowshoeing. Um, so we try to do rentals if we have enough snow. We usually need to have a, at least three or more inches of snow to have a really good snowshoeing experience. If we do get enough, we will do rentals that you can come do through our office. You get the snowshoes for two hours at a time and you can take them out on the trails um, behind the Civic Center. 
We also have a couple of fun events coming up that will be led by a naturalist. One of those is Snowshoe with Your Sweetie. It's a fun couples event that we put on for people that are 18 years and older. You get to sit around a campfire and make some snacks while learning about how animals mate and how their life, love life, relates to ours. And then you get to go out on the trail and snowshoe and enjoy all of the winter wildlife. And then another one that we have coming up is our senior snowshoe hike. So that's for 50 and up, and it's an opportunity for a like-minded group of people to come together with one of our other naturalists and head out on the trail and get that fun snowshoeing experience. And if you are looking to register for these things or go on the interest list so that you're aware when we are doing rentals, you can do that through our website, which is wbparks.org, or you can call our front desk and they can get you all registered and answer any questions that you have. And you can do that at 248 Four five one one nine zero zero. So fun and some great events as we head into the snow and the cold months in 2022. Before we wrap up, Annabelle, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us, either on the naturalist side of West Bloomfield Parks or something with those programs? Yeah, of course. Well, so something that we're doing as a staff now is we've started our green team. It's our goal as a staff to become greener and have greener practices, both throughout our programs in the office and to educate the public. So if you ever wanna check out our social media, especially Facebook, we're posting monthly green tips um, to help you just start to make those small changes in your life that will help make the planet healthier. Very exciting. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Annabelle. Thank you, have a great day. You too.